Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to create this chart over here using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. And we'll also use a library called Chart.js to design this chart right here. So let's get started. Alright, so here I have created this folder called chart and I just opened it with VS Code. Now let's create the necessary files. So let's click on new file. And let's create an HTML file. I'll just name it index.html. And now let's create a CSS file. I'll just name it style.css. And we'll also create a JavaScript file. I'll just name it main.js. Let's start with the index.html file. So in VS Code, you can just press exclamation and press tab. And you'll have this basic HTML file code. Right, let's link our CSS file over here. So I'll just type link and press tab. And here I'll just type style.css. And let's link our JavaScript file over here. So I'll just type script. And in the src, I'll just type main.js. Right now, let's start with the markup of our design. So the first thing we will do is uh, we will create the heading. So here we can see we have this heading before this uh, chart container. So let's create an h2 and we will give it a class of chart heading. And here I'll just type popular programming languages. Right, the next thing we will do is we'll create a container division for all of this. So let's create a division with a class of programming stats. And in that for the chart, we'll create a division. So let's create a division with a class of chart container. And in that we will have the chart. So I'll just type chart over here. And the next thing we need to have is uh, the details over here. So we have the programming language and uh, the percentage over here. And here in the chart, we have it in a donut format. But here we have it in percentage. So let's go back and let's create a division with a class of details. And in that we'll create an unordered list. And in that we will have list items for each of these lines of text. Now we will add the list items using JavaScript. So we will get the data from JavaScript and we'll create these list items in the JavaScript file. But for now, just for styling, let's add a couple of lines over here. So I'll just type Python. And then we need to have a colon and then we need to have this percentage. So for the percentage, we'll create a span with a class of percentage. And in that we'll type the percentage. So just up 30%. And I'll just duplicate this down here. Right now, the next thing we will do is we'll create the chart. But before that, let's open this in our browser. So I have this extension called Live Server installed in VS Code. So once you install that, you can just right click over here in the HTML and click on Open with Live Server. And here we can see that our design is displayed in the browser. Now the next thing we will do is uh, we will get the CDN of Chart.js library. So let's search for Chart.js. So you can just Google for Chart.js and uh, just click on get started link or you can just open the main URL and you can just click on get started. And then you can click on this link right here. And if you scroll down here, we have this getting started guide. And here we can see we have the CDN so I'll just copy this script from here and uh, let's go back and uh, I'll just paste it over here. So just before the script of main.js, I'll just paste it over here. Now for the chart, we need to create a canvas. So here inside the chart container division, let's create a canvas and in the canvas, we will have the chart. So I'll just give it a class and let's give it a class of my chart. You can name this class anything you want. Right now, let's go ahead and uh, Let's create the chart. So let's go to the main.js file. And the first thing we need to do is we need to reference this canvas. So we have a class of my chart. So here I'll just type const my chart equals document dot query selector. And here I'll just type dot my chart. And now here you have to type new chart. Here we need to have two arguments. The first one is the my chart. So let's type my chart over here. And the next one is the options. So for that we will have an object. And in this, we will set up the chart. So the first thing we need to do is set the type of the chart. So let's type type and uh, let's set the type to donut. And the next thing we need to specify is the data. So what we will do is we'll create the data constant in the JavaScript. So let's create a constant and I'll just name it chart data and we'll just set it to an object. Now in this chart data, we need to have the labels and the data. So here we can see these are the labels. And uh, on the right side, we have the data. So let's type labels and we'll create an array. 
and here we'll just type these programming languages so let's type python and then we have java then we have javascript and then we have c sharp and then lastly we have others so this is the labels and then we need to have the data so let's type data and let's create an array for that as well so for the data we have 30 17 10 7 and 36 so let's type the values over here 30 17 10 7 and 36 now we can use this data in our options in the chart so let's type data and here let's type labels and for the labels we need to access these labels so let's type chart data dot labels and the next thing we need to have is the data sets so let's type data sets and we'll just set it to an array and in that we need to have an object and we need to type label and here we can type the label that displays over here when we hover over this so here we can see it says language popularity so let's type that over here language popularity and then we have the data so let's type data and let's set it equal to this data inside chart data so let's type chart data data and now if we go back to our website here we can see that our chart is being displayed but right now it has a huge size so let's style it using css so let's go back to our css file and first of all let's style this heading so I'll just type chart heading which is the class that we have given for this h2 and here i'll just type font family and let's set the font family to rubik sans serif and we also need to get the link of this font so let's go to google fonts so here i'm in fonts.google.com and let's search for rubik and let's select this font and let's scroll down and let's select the regular version and also a bold version so i'll just select 700 and let's click on this icon and uh, let's copy this link from here and let's go back to our HTML file and I'll just paste it over here in the head section right now let's go back to our CSS and uh, let's continue styling this let's set the color of the text to 023047 and let's set the text transform to uppercase and we'll set the font size to 24 pixels and text align to the center so this is how the heading looks right now now let's style this chart so for the chart we have this division with the class of chart container so let's type chart container and we'll just set the width of the chart container to 200 pixels and now we can see we have the correct width and we'll also hide these uh, details from here so for that let's go back to the main.js file and here in the options we need to add some more code so here after the data let's create options and let's create an object and here we need to type plugins and then here we need to type legend and then inside that we need to type display and set it to false and now if you go back we can see that the details are not displayed over here we just have the chart now we can also set the border width and border radius of this chart so let's go back and let's do that here i'll just type border width and let's set it to 10 now we can see we have a border width of 10 and let's also add a border radius so let's set the border radius to 2 and now if we go back we can see that we have a little bit of border radius and now when we hover over this we can see that we have some border so let's remove that i'll just type hover border width and let's set it to 0 now if you hover over this we don't have the extra width so everything is working all right now let's style this right here so let's go back and let's go to the style.css file and let's style the container division which is this division with the class of programming stats so let's type programming stats and the first thing we will do is we'll set the font family to rubik sans serif and we need to have these two elements one next to the other so let's type display of flex and we need to bring this to the center vertically so let's type align items to the center and we'll also have a gap of 24 pixels between these elements right now let's bring this to the center so let's type margin 0 for top and bottom and auto for left and right and right now it is not being centered so that's because we have full width for this division right now 
So if I just add a background color, we can see that it has this full width. So what we can do is we can set the width to fit content. So let's type width fit content. And now we can see it has the correct width. Right now let's add a box shadow. So here we can see we have this box shadow around this element. So let's type box shadow and let's set the values to 0, 4 pixels, 12 pixels, negative 2 pixels, RGBA, 0, 0, 0 and 0 0.3. And let's also add a border radius for rounded corners. And let's type border radius. And let's set it to 20 pixels. And we'll also add some padding. So let's type padding. And let's set the padding to 8 pixels top and bottom and 32 pixels left and right. Right now let's set the color of this text. So let's type color and let's set the color to 023047. Right now when we hover over this we need to increase the scale of this container division. So let's type programming stats colon hover and here we just type transform scale and let's set it to 1.02. And we'll also add a transition for smooth animation. And let's set it to all 400 milliseconds ease. And we'll also change the box shadow when we hover over this. So let's copy this line of code from here. Let's paste it down here. And let's change some values over here. I just change this to 16. And I just change this value to, let's try 7. And now we can see we have this hover effect. Right now let's style these list items. It is inside this division with a class of details in that we have this UL. So let's type programming stats details UL. And first of all, let's remove these bullets. So let's type list style and set it to none. And we'll also remove the padding. So let's type padding and set it to zero. Right now, let's style the list items inside the UL. So let's type programming stats details ULLI. And uh, first of all, let's set the font size to 16 pixels. And we'll set the margin to 12 pixels top and bottom and 0 for left and right. And we'll also set the text transform to uppercase. And uh, let's style this percentage. So for the percentage, we have this span with a class of percentage. So let's type programming stats details percentage and for the percentage let's set the font weight to 800 and uh, let's go back to the HTML and here we have selected a weight of 700 so let's do that let's type 700 over here and let's set the color of the text to E63946 the styling looks alright now let's change the data so let's go back to our HTML file and I'll just delete all these uh, list items from here. And we will add the list items using JavaScript. So we need to have the label inside the list item. Then we need to have a span with a class of percentage. And then we need to have the data. So let's delete all of this from here. And uh, let's reference this UL inside the details. So here let's type const UL equals document.querySelector. Let's type programming stats details ul now what we're going to do is we're going to create a function so let's type const and let's call it populate ul and now what we need to do is we need to loop through each of these labels so the labels are inside the chart data object so let's type chart data dot labels dot for each to loop through each of the labels and let's call the single labels l Let's create an arrow function. Now here the first thing we need to do is we need to create a list item. So let's type let li, we'll just call it li equals document dot create element. Let's create an li element over here. And in the li element, we need to add some text. So let's type li dot inner html equals. And we'll also add variables inside this. So we'll just use backticks. And here I'll just type dollar symbol curly braces let's type l so this will be the label and then we need to have a colon and then we need to have a span so let's create a span and for the span we need to have a class of percentage and uh, then we need to close the span over here now in the span we need to have the data 
Now we need to have the data of the same label. So when we use for each, we also get the index. So for that, we need to create one more variable over here. I'll just call it i. Now this i variable will contain the index of the list item. So here let's type dollar symbol curly braces chart data dot data. So here we can see we have this data. And here we need to type square brackets and i. So it will select the correct data. And then we need to add the percentage symbol. Right now the next thing we need to do is we need to append this list item to the ul. So we have created this constant named ul. So let's type ul dot append child li. Right now the last thing we need to do is we need to call this function. So let's type populate ul. And now if you go back to our design, here we can see all the data is populated over here. So everything looks all right. So that's basically how you can create this design with a chart using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Right, that's it for this video. I will leave the link of the source code in the description. And if you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.